Greg O'Shea branded social media dangerous on Tuesday as he recalled receiving online death threats and disparaging comments from trolls. The former Love Islander, 25, also said that he feels sorry for the younger generation who have to grow up dealing with the constant negativity on I noticed after a while I was feeling really down on myself and I started getting less confident and things like that, he said to the son as he confessed to going in the depths, reading horrible comments about himself on That's probably what is so dangerous about social media nowadays. I feel so sorry for young teenagers that are coming up and social media makes their life, everything's on it. Greg, who won the 2019 series of Love Island alongside Amber Gill, said he understands why adolescents are naturally drawn to negative comments online. However, he hopes humans adapt and stop focusing on the bad. He also admitted he is happy he didn't grow up with social media and missed the book. Greg received a wave of backlash after he separated from fellow Love Island winner Amber, 23 just weeks after they were crowned the winners of the ITV reality. She said he broke up with her over text message and an insider divulged that she felt used. He subsequently denied the claim, instead stating the distance between them, as well as their busy careers, caused the separation. Afterwards, he confirmed he received online threats, telling him to jump off the balcony. Greg credits his family for helping him get through the challenging time. Last year, Amber branded her ex pathetic after he replied to her tweet about winning Love Island. The Love Island queen took to Instagram to mark the year anniversary since she was crowned the winner of the ITV2 reality series. Greg replied to her celebratory tweet, writing, Congrats. Although Amber didn't directly respond to Greg over Twitter, she later said that the tweet was pathetic in response to a fan who claimed it was gas on TikTok. After one TikTok user wrote, Nigga look but it was AC gas when Greg replied to her tweet on she replied, is gas pathetic? Cause yeah, same 20. Sick Amber also appeared to air her thoughts the next day in another tweet, which read, when people are unhappy within themselves they interpret everything as bitter and shade throwing. Let them misinterpret they cannot comprehend someone being unproblematic and unbothered. We don't need any more negativity in 2020 let them be on.